Lightning bolts are known for their jagged shape. They rarely take a straight line down to the earth. So you'll notice each time it's striking my finger, it's not taking a straight path across. What it's doing is it's actually taking the path where it's easiest to ionize. For example, it turns out on the surface of insulators, it's actually easier to ionize air or create sparks than away from it. So for example, here's how far away I can get while still getting shocked without the glass rod. And here's what it looks like when I have the glass rod in my hand. I can actually get the spark gap to occur further away when I'm holding the glass rod than when I'm not holding it. So you can see that sparks don't take the shortest path, but they just take the path in which they can ionize the easiest. This is the same thing that's happening in lightning strikes as well. So depending on your atmospheric conditions currently, there'll be parts of the air that have higher humidity or lower humidity, and parts that have more dust or less dust, and all of that is going to determine the path that the lightning takes to the ground.